Hello everyone, this is Dark Souls 5 here, and today I uh, is is my review of that's right Resident Evil Revelations 2 for the PS4. That's right. It's my review, my thoughts, and everything uh, coming of this game, Resident Evil Revelations 2, for the PS4, right now. Oh, okay, let me turn this down. Hello everyone, this is Dark Souls 5 here, coming to you with half of my review of this game. Uh, now, this game is good, it's awesome. I love, I like, uh, oh, excuse me, I loved it, <laughs> sorry about the burp, I loved it, uh, episode one was pretty damn good, episode two was great, episode three, eh, it was okay, at the end, I don't know if I got the good, I don't know if I got the uh, good ending on this game or not. But I don't, I don't know. I haven't checked on anybody's videos yet. But uh, anyways, uh, on the episode three is a quick timing event at the end of it. And if you do, if you don't do it right, if you get, if you get clear, if you do Clara and let Clara shoot him, you don't, you get the bad ending. That's what I heard. And if you uh, let Mora shoot him. You get the good ending. Well, I did. If you see my videos, uh, I did the good. I did the good ending. I went off and sh I went off and uh, I was Mora and shot and shot him and did the good. Uh, hopefully, got the good ending. Um, that was okay. The uh, the uh, the the final the final one right here. Oh, the gut that was a uh, terrible. I'm telling you, there, there's a room. There, there's, a, there's a room that had like um, uh, bloaters, um, uh, zombies that blow. And it comes near you, blows up. They had uh, this one boss looked like an octopus, uh, octopus out of water, had a ball under underneath his head, and uh, you had to sit here and shoot him so many times to kill, to kill him, which I had to do that. So, uh, that last time, which I used all my ammo up, and then got into a room where I had to redo the whole thing. I had to go off and do a gutlet of the enemies until I finally got uh, until I finally got done doing this. Uh, the combat is pretty darn good, pretty awesome. The graphics is really sick. The graphics is really sick. Um. The AI sucks. The AI does not do what what what, you, what it's supposed to do. And when, like when you're her and you point things out, she's supposed to sit here and the, the, your your AI is supposed to shoot while you're pointing at that monster. It don't do it. It does not do it. Um. Oh, uh, what else? There's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of shit in here. That really pissed me off, but other than all, it, this game is great if you're if you're a uh, Resident Evil fan. If you're a Resident Evil fan like me, then you will love this. Then you'll love this game. But if you're not a Resident Evil fan like me, then you won't love this game. Just don't buy it all. It ain't no, it ain't no good if you're not if you're not a if you're not a uh, Resident Evil fan. You're not. Then you need to bypass it. Overlook it. Don't worry about buying it. Uh, disc or digital. But if you're a big fan of it, like me, and you want or you've seen it, with, with other, you've seen other people's gameplays, and you see what it looks like, you want it, go out and buy it. I urge you to go out and buy it. It's a good. It, it is a good game. It has its flaws, and it has its. Uh, it has its. Uh, what do we call it? But uh, yeah, um, half of uh, uh, this, like I said, this is just half of my review 
of how I think about this game so far. Uh, there's extra episodes coming up pretty soon, and I'm going to do it tonight. Do them tonight, and that's going to be part of my review on that too. So I can't give you. So what do I rank? Do what do I rank it? What do I rank it? Um, rate it. What do I rate it? Um, well, find out later. Later, uh, later on in the uh, tomorrow. On the on that on the next a little bit on, on the next video, um, I know I'm missing something out. It's like this game is like has had like a saw, a little bit of saw in it. It reminds me of The Last of Us and Alan Wake. Yes, because you shine, you can you can take the uh, take a flashlight, shine in the enemy's face. And blind them, and it stuns them for a little bit, and then you go off and fight them, and beat them, and kill them, and, sh and stuff like that. Which that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that indeed. The graphics, like I said, the graphics is also awesome. And uh, also for Capcom, I uh, like I said earlier before, and I'll say it again. I do apologize for what I said on that last video. I did not mean what I said, and uh, I hope you don't get mad at me for that. Oops, but uh, that's it for this video. Tell it in, everyone. Take care. I'll see you on the ne next one. Hello, everyone. So, what do you think about that video? Yeah, um, I think I might have mentioned also on that video that uh, that. You can switch character. You can switch uh, from character to character, and uh, which is cool. But it kind of ticked me off when I told, like, when, like, when, uh, like, like her, for example, or you no, know, when you're when you're her and you're telling him and your partner to stay right where he's at, and then he says, "I got it, gotcha." All of a sudden, you walk away from somewhere. That's when your partner comes right next to you. What the heck is that? Um, you can also do co-op. Have a have like a friend next to you to, to help and to help you out in there. It's the best way to do that. Um, the um, the, di the the digital version of this game. It is like seventeen, eighteen dollars. Uh, no, 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 no. I take that. I take that back. I take that back. The digital copy of this game is like twenty-five dollars, and closer to twenty-four dollars, something like that. Now this game here costs forty-five dollars when you pre-order it. That is, it costs forty-five dollars for the di for this right here. But the the digital version of this game here. Is uh, for uh, is only twenty five dollars. Um, now um, now you can is for all far as I know far as I uh, far as I know is for all consoles except for PC. Now I can't I can't tell you all how good it is on on any other consoles, but I can tell you it was good on PS four. I loved it. I really did enjoy it. And um, I have played all of Resident Evil games before, and this here is it beats them. I love this game. Um, that's all I got to say about this game here. And here's and what I rank. What do I rank it? Well, I'm not gonna kiss the game's ass if you think I, if you think I'm, uh, if you think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna kiss the game's ass. It was great. I, it was good. I loved it, but it wasn't great. I'm gonna give the game and give this game Resident Evil Revelations 2 for the PS4 an eight out of ten. That's right. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. Um, I haven't seen anybody else's review of the game. And uh, or 
DSPs are known as dark side film. Um, if I've left anything out, please go to his channel and watch his hateful truth of, of the of the uh, of Resident Evil Revelations 2. And he uh, he might have uh, filled, said a lot, uh, filled in a lot more than I did. So, but other all, if you're a resident, uh, I advise you to go out and buy this game. This game is freaking good. I loved it. I really did. I mean, it had its ups and downs, but Capcom, yes, I said Capcom. Capcom, you did an excellent job on it. You have done almost every game of, of every year, almost every, every Resident Evil game you have done ever since I was a kid. I have played them all. You did an excellent job on this one. That's what I can say. You did an excellent job. Good job, guys. Um, that's, all I, that's all I can say. But uh, that's going to be it for my review of Resident Evil Revelations 2. Uh, you, yeah, there is a, uh, the one called uh, the the struggle, and uh, the the little miss. If you want to see those, I did a little bit of gameplay of it. And if you want to see that, you have to watch the you have to watch the uh, gameplay because it's going to be in that too. Um. I kind of stuck that. I kind of I went off and put those in today. So if you want to watch those, go ahead and watch them. Um, I didn't like them. To tell you the truth, I did not like it. But the other all of all of everything else, as far as I know, I'm good. I got a good. I got a good. A uh, good ending to the game. But uh, other all, that's all I got to say. But I'm giving it an eight out of ten. Okay. So then everyone, have a good night, and I will see you Saturday or Sunday for Bloodborne for the PS4. Woo! Doggy, I love it. I haven't played it yet, but I want to. I want to. I've been hearing so many things about it, good about it. Woo, yeah, just like Dark Souls. Oh, yeah. Tell anyone, take care. Peace out. Have a good night. This is Dark Souls 5, signing out.